you know, to come down there. She had some ginger and everything, and I just haven't had time. So I've been doing things around here, and you know, it's. I don't know, it just seems to take up so much time when I get here. Mm. It's frightening, isn't it? I know Mother said she, she said, I never thought I'd get old so soon, you know, and I can understand <laughs> now same what she means about it. You know, same with me. I can't know. believe in each of that you're going to be 70. 70 years old. Oh, she'll die. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. Sure you are. You're remarkable, though, really. Because you don't. Judy said, I never would have believed that Kenichi would be 70. She said, he looks about 58 or 59. I'm an old man. Oh, you are not an old man. <laughs> 70 is pretty old, Eddie. Yeah, but it depends on how you feel. <laughs> and your a your mental attitude. Is so young. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. You must think you have good positive thoughts all the time, eh? <laughs> no negative thoughts? Because I think that's half the secret too of staying young. <laughs>
you know, they're, they're, we're all good friends. And I think that's very important. So, <coughs> then if you're talking about some money, the only between the two, so then all the conversations stop when anybody comes, even right. the children. do anything I want, I can treat them any way yeah, I want, I can talk, talk to them any way I want. Want, which is, which is want. It is. You have to talk to them exactly like you talk to the most respected lady again. That's right. That's okay. the only way that you're going to get respect from them.
she's got a broken even, glass. Even selling real estate. Well, she's, not, she's above that now. She she's does all proposals for management of, uh, she likes supposing the builder builds this condo up here, say the builder builds the cliffs, and the builder's having a hard time selling them. He can't, he can't, he don't know how to do the promotion, the sales promotion. So she goes into these builders and she says, okay, she lays out a whole proposal for them. She says, here's how many units we can sell a month for you. How much, you know, she finds out how much they owe, what their payments are to the bank and all this business. And she says, here's your cash flow. This is what you can expect to realize every month, profit from it, you know. And all this business, they do the whole schmear for the guy. She does all the proposal bid and bids for it. And then they tell you how fast they moved where Kathy was working. And that's the same company I work for. Same company she works for. But it was two, oh, was, was it 212 units they took over? Well, 221. Some had been sold. Some had been sold, but this First. place had got into a little problem. And for two years, none of them sold. I guess they almost got in a bank deal, a foreclosure type thing. The builder did. Yeah. <clears throat> so this outfit that Christy works for went in there. The first month, these guys sold 61 guys. No, 72, years. honey. All right, 72. I'm we, always wrong. I'm sorry. The first day we sold 25. But they sold every one. But this is since the beginning of November. You got November, December, January. And February is almost over now, but there's only what left? Well, when I left there, we only had five left. Only had five left, and they were models, weren't they? Well, some were models and some were. All right, left. well. So you see how fast they can dispose of them. Now they got another whole group. When Kathy goes back, she'll be working in an entirely different location. And they took over another outfit that they've been there for three years, and they got a couple of hundred units. Now we have they haven't sold yet. We have nine different floor models. We have them ranging from 550 square feet to 1,800. And my job will be, of course, to get familiar with each floor plan and talk to a prospective buyer and find out exactly what they want, how much money they can spend, the floor, how much space they need, and then the, buy then the agent comes in and then they take over from there. It's very interesting. But she does all the... Uh helps the people pick out colors of rugs. See, the place that she was in, they could pick five different types of rugs depending upon what they wanted to, how much money they wanted to spend over what rug they were going to put in, you know. Well, the upgrades, beginning. yeah. Upgrades. So she helped the people select the colors, all his business. She called up, you know, the guy that delivers all the appliances and makes sure the appliances are in. You make sure the rugs get installed. You make sure... Uh, you know, everything works in the damn apartment. When a guy moves in, he has keys, he has this, and she does, she handles all that, plus does the showing. And the showing is a lot of sales. I mean, because she really hustles them into buying the thing. And they had a good deal of the last place she was at. These places were running, what, about 1,700 square feet? 1,750? Uh, the townhouses, the condominiums were 13. Yeah, the townhouses was 1750 and they st they were what, uh, 149000 149 to 151000 to $151,000. you are talking 1700 something square feet. They came completely furnished. I mean, not furnished. Oh, no, 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 no. Just, uh, they had rugs. Did they get the blinds there? Well, they had standard rugs, but you see, if they wanted to spend more money on upgrading, we had five different upgrades. Right. So. I had to tell them the price of each upgrade, you know, whatever, and then help them because some people have no idea what color combination they should use. You know, they'll put, they'll put like for the tile or the kitchen vinyl, they might put a green in there and then think they want a gray rug or something. You know, things like that don't go together. You have to have warm colors together, you have to have cool colors together, your blues, your grays, and things like that. Those are cool colors. Your warm colors are your browns, your oranges, your, all the, you know, in that spectrum. And uh, it's amazing how how very uncoordinated people are. They so only had two salespeople. Sometimes only one in the office, and they sold all those units with one or two salespeople. Plus her doing uh, showing them around. She takes them, shows them the models, and goes through. And they had a good financing. What was the financing? Oh yeah, it was ten percent down. 10% down. No, well, it was 5%, wasn't it? Well, that was in the condos. The townhouses were 
condos were five percent of one hundred and fifty thousand, so you could put down seventy five hundred bucks, man. That's cheap down payment. And the financing was seven and three quarter percent. Fixed, the, fixed for two years. Fixed for two years. Mm -hmm. And then over a period of five years, they had a cap on it. They couldn't go up any more than five, so then it was a total of twelve point five percent over the life of the mortgage. That's the maximum it could ever go up. And it could only increase what two percent eight in any yeah. year after the first two years. Yeah. So that was—I mean—a lot of people come out to buy them, but that kind of financing was very good, especially when you're starting out. Seven three quarter percent's real nice. Yeah, but usually, the first time buyer, it's a down payment they cannot pay. Yeah, right. They can pay the monthly one. That's right. Because a lot of them down just payment. just married. You don't have enough in the bank. Well, you know, to borrow one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, I mean, you know, if you're only going to put seventy five hundred down, you got to borrow one hundred forty two thousand dollars. Jesus, you got to make about sixty thousand dollars a year to qualify for that. <coughs> Otherwise, you can't qualify. Now, sometimes <coughs> they have so many units put aside under this new federal program. First time buyers. First time buyers. First time buyers got the units for how much? Ninety-eight. They couldn't make any more than forty-one thousand dollars between them. They couldn't make any more than forty-one, and they got them as cheap as ninety-eight thousand. Ninety-eight thousand. First time buyers. Down. But still, ninety-eight thousand. Still a lot of money. Pay. And they didn't have to pay five percent down here, did they? Uh, oh yeah. <coughs> they still have to pay the five. Yeah. But by the time you pay off the ninety-eight thousand, it costs you two hundred somewhat. Oh, oh, better sure. than that. <laughs> it's still a lot of money. Doesn't matter how you look at it. But I mean, yeah. you know the average price now of a house in San Francisco is one hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. The average price. <coughs> well, in New York now, it's up to one hundred eighty-five. The average. Yeah. So there, it's really going. San to Jose is San Jose is pretty high now. Same with the one here. <coughs> Yeah. How much? 180? Yeah. This is uh, one of the most expensive first came. Why? And then we take every what you call everybody comes on the way. Well, I got these nice little places. 139,000 up here you can buy right in Princeville. Well, that's small homes. They're starting that was. out. That maybe no, it still is. Still Would you like no team? No, no team? Nothing, eh? They still have to sign up for that price. Do they? One hundred thirty-nine thousand. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of building side homes in Princeville. That's so reasonable. Oh, about one hundred sixty, one hundred eighty. I know. Oh, right. It's cheap. It and is there's some cheap. nice homes too. Very cheap. Mm -hmm. For a place like this, you know. A lot of custom-built yeah. homes are selling cheap here. So if this was a main one, that would cost you about four hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. Oh yeah. I know. But you know, it's going to go up. Because we're always here, I've noticed we're about two years behind everything that happens on the mainland. Whether there's a slump or whether it's, uh, you know, the uh, real estate going up or whatever, it's always about two years. Can we see how much Princeton Planet is Yeah. Yeah. Between the cold Yeah. That'll be the day. There'd be some, there's some nice locations here, aren't there? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Nice mm. cream and apple pie and rolls. <laughs> this is pumpkin. I didn't get apple pie. <laughs> I got pumpkin pie. <laughs> <laughs> They still go together pretty good. Mm -hmm. I thought it was what you call it. Apple? Oh, it's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I took the first bite here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were kidding me when you said apple. <laughs> I was thinking that, gee, I should have got apple if you like that. Nope. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> Delightful. 
I like picking out those little crystal cups. You know, when I eat a meal, I mean, see, I like it to be a kind of an experience. You know, I don't. I hate to rush through a meal and and that's it. Same with going out to a restaurant. I'd rather go out and let, you know, not so many times, but go to a real good restaurant and experience it. And of course, enjoy it. <laughs> not me. I can't wait to get out of it. You just wait and give it my sister. I can't wait to I get out. I cook all day long, every day, so they get tired of this. Yeah. Yeah, they like to go out. So when they go out shopping, too, the children want to stop. Maybe the kids want to stop McDonald's. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's why I don't laugh to ask them, what's that thing, Big Mac? <laughs> we never go there either. I know where the can put fried chicken is. That's all. You do? You like that? I think they make the best. Pretty good. Chicken. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, they need. You know, this restaurant. Fast food. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Red Lobster there that's really good. We enjoy going there. But it's not really a very posh restaurant, but it's pretty good there. No. Real good for the price. Mm -hmm. So we got Kathleen up in Stanford and David's in San Francisco going up. Hastings School of Law. I thought David was in. Uh, he was in Memphis. And now he's in. Uh, now he's in, uh, he's, he's, uh, he started last September at law school mm -hmm. in San Francisco. And it'll take him uh, probably a couple of years to get out of law school, because he's already got a degree, you know, with everything else, so all he got to do is take the law stuff. And Kathy, he's taking that pre-med, she's going to be a doctor. He's going to be a doctor. Well, you know, you got to have good grades to get that. In Stanford especially, Jesus. Yeah. If she had a paper, it'd be seventeen thousand a year for her to go. <laughs> and Karen's a flight attendant. She flies to New York all the time, most of the time. Flies flies on American Airlines. I think she's in France now. She's going to France. Yeah. Getting around. school unless he has another credit to take another two or three credits to take he should be finished this year mm -hmm. and then uh, th then uh, there'll be three kids out Douglas is still helping Sandy mm -hmm. yep what's Bill Phil doing? Bill is going to Santa Barbara you see Santa Barbara uh, He's taking up uh, filming and stuff like that. Filming, movie production, and all this stuff. He wants to be in the in the film business. I don't know what kind of a change he's going to have, but that's where he wants to be. The art of motion pictures, I guess. Look at yeah, providing he can get work. They don't make too many pictures around Hollywood anymore, currently. But he's made some pretty good movies on his own. Funny, oh, it's, they're so funny. Can you see? You just laugh about them. They had this old statue, yeah, and it's like, oh gosh, it's like somebody from not a monk, but somebody from the. It's like a monkey. Uh, not a monkey. Well, it's a weird looking guy. It's, it's guy. something like somebody shriveled up. In other words, it looks like somebody that could be 500 years old. An old man like Only, only dark. Real dark. And he's got a cane. And they call him 
can't breathe. Yeah, he's the main character in that movies they make. And they take him and they photograph him in restaurants with Kathleen, that's his girlfriend. And oh, I'm funny, as funny as anything. And then they they simulate where he gets run over, and it looks so real, you know. And and Philip is narrating this whole thing. They took him to an emergency ward to get him operated on. And, and they. they Kick the out of the hospital. Here they bring in this wooden dummy <laughs> to get operated on. They said he got run over by a car or something oh wrong with him. Oh gosh, it was funny. And they're filming all this stuff while they're bringing it in the emergency ward. They have him in the swimming pool. And Kathleen is with him. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in Japan, one of the uh, see he's filming us now. You You're on TV on. while I'm while I'm doing it at the same <laughs> time. That's all I'm doing. That'd <laughs> be, uh, say, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, eight months. In a way, it seemed a long time, but in a way, it went by so fast, too. Now? Huh? Now? Here? Here over the phone, so, like, I don't think I'm going to be coming back. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't mean I would be coming back. It's just that <coughs> I didn't know when. Or, you know, how I'll be staying here. But Bob had to get some income tax papers. And then I wanted to see how everything was here, you know. So. Hey, look at that, Kenichi. Who's your, who's your recent agent for this place? Um, the Cliffs and the... Uh, well, mm -hmm. that's, uh, what do you call it? Rosary? Brooks. Not, not, not Jane Brooks, no. <coughs> there are agents here for the Lee Kai. But over at the Cliffs, it's Colony, uh, Colony Resort. Look at that, hey, Kenichi. See the picture on the ceiling? On the ceiling? Now watch me zoom in on it, the one in back of you. Yeah, he zooms in on that picture? Mm. Isn't that simple? Oh. That's the one right in back of you there. Come some more clear there. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Looks better there. <laughs> but some of the pictures. See the the focus changes automatically. If you put something in front of this, the thing will automatically focus on on something else. Mm. Some of the pictures. He it's all automatic on. focus. Everything. Upon laying that. Oh I'm yeah, I took some pictures of that too. I'm going to put it on still and paint it. You know, because it'll, it'll be there, and then I can just go ahead and paint it. Did you paint that? Yeah, I did them both. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. 
She just painted that out of her head. <laughs> out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> but I did a couple of nice paintings in San Francisco and in California. And I did them off a postcard. Two really, didn't you think so, Bob? Two really nice ones. Yeah. yeah. Who's that guy on TV? Look at how nice you look at each. <laughs> That's a blow up. Isn't that nice? Why don't you zoom out again, Kanishi? Look at this. The what? I'm zooming it back 